Oh my god, hi! Come in. If I knew you were coming, I would have wore something a bit brighter. I don't do IGTV workouts, I just walk up the stairs twice a day. The tip for having a good lockdown is find the family friend with the biggest house. Hi, it's me, Travis Alabanza, writer of Burgers and Overflow. I got into theatre from the clubs. I always say that the best theatre you'll find is in the London cabaret and queer scene, the best performers, the best way of like managing an audience. And so I was a regular at the RVT, um, bars and queer bars in London, hosting, doing all of that. Um, but I wanted to be able to write uh, more full length work. So I made my first theatre show in 2018 called Burgers. I remember like, when COVID started shutting down work, we were actually in Sao Paulo with Burgers and our last official show in Sao Paulo was cancelled because of COVID. And um, in hindsight, if I knew it was going to be this long, I would have stayed out in Brazil. Um, but yeah, it was a, it was a lot because we had a full year of international touring with Burgers, what, like going from like a small show in 2018 to these big international venues. I was going to be getting my air miles. And so it was definitely an adjustment to then being in my house. Um, yeah, and it was hard. It was hard watching all that work that you've put in to kind of get a momentum um, go away. And I got a new passport holder specifically for 2020, so that was a bit gutting too. I think the last 12 months, the first thing I did was rest. I did want to resist that urge to like have to keep going. I think that, um, you know, so many people were so quick to adapt and kudos to them, but I spent about three months in bed. Um, but then I was lucky to write Overflow in that kind of brief stint where we did have theatre reopen. Um, and then we transferred it with the Bush team into an online show. And so I have been able to make a few online works, Overflow, and then I did um, In Tandem with Payne's Plough, sh starring Sharon D. Clark, which was online as well. So I've been able to make some online work, which has been nice, um, but I'm definitely missing the stage. <laughs> Best memories for performing a show is definitely Burgers. It's a really unpredictable show and I got to perform it so many times in different places and I always think about the different volunteers that came up to cook the show. Specifically today, I'm thinking about the man that bragged about being a professional chef, made me feel quite small for not being a professional chef and needing his help. But when it came to the bit where he had to cook and chop the onions, he didn't know how to do it. And he was reluctant to admit that maybe he lied or exaggerated at the beginning and that he had actually never made a meal in his life. Um, you know, it's very unusual to watch a white man uh, overcompensate his skills. I mean, you know, it <laughs> doesn't happen a lot, you know? <laughs> I think theatre matters because historically it's always been used to be able to convey ideas from people um, rather than, and take back power. I think when theatre is used like correctly, it's speaking back and giving voice to people that do not have access to be able to do it elsewhere. So if the news or the government are being are speaking one certain way about a certain group of people, then when theatre works is that that group of people might not have access to the news or the government back, but they can take to the stage and speak back. And so that's why I think theatre matters, when it's used as a tool to speak back. The thing I miss most about theatre is the overpriced wine, people pretending that they like a show and then moaning about it in the toilets but you overhear them. Um, I miss the bad decor uh, in the lounges and I miss posh people being upset when you respond loudly to what's in front of them in the play. <laughs> God, wait, I just trolled. Maybe I should give an actual answer. Oh, <laughs> 